An explosion sparked a massive fire on Russia's bridge to the annexed Crimean Peninsula early Saturday and brought part of the 12-mile link crashing into the sea. The blast on the Crimean bridge, a prized project for Russian President Vladimir Putin, threatens a vital supply road for Russian forces in southern Ukraine. Russian authorities said traffic would resume Saturday. A Ukrainian government official told the Washington Post that the country's special services were behind the attack. Though Kyiv stopped short of saying it was responsible even as top officials taunted Moscow. The Ukrainian government tweeted, sick burn. Meanwhile, the Kremlin appointed Gen Sergei Surovikin as the latest top commander in Ukraine, the defense ministry announced Saturday. The Post had reported the day before that it was not clear who was leading Russia's invasion of Ukraine after several months of tumult atop the military ranks. Crimean Bridge Blast A truck exploded on the bridge's roadway, setting fuel tanks on fire as a train crossed, according to a Russian law enforcement body, which also said at least three people were killed. The cause of the blast was not immediately clear. Photos showed a thick plume of smoke rising from the nearly $4 billion crossing, also known as Kerch Bridge, which Putin personally inaugurated in 2018 by driving across in a truck. Traffic in the undamaged part of the bridge has resumed with cars and buses traveling in one lane, the Russian Transportation Ministry said on Telegram. Train service on the bridge resumed Saturday evening, the Russian carrier Grand Service Express said on Telegram. Two car ferries with a total capacity of up to 50 road trains were expected to begin operating no later that Sunday morning, the Russian Transportation Ministry announced on Telegram. The transportation agency said more ferries are scheduled to run in the following days. Officials in Kiev celebrated the blast while stopping short of claiming responsibility for it. The news site Ukrainska Pravda reported first that the explosion was the work of Ukraine's SBU security service, citing an unidentified law enforcement official. An advisor to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky described it as the beginning, while the Ukrainian parliament wrote. Crimea, long time, no see. The head of Ukraine's postal service, Igor Smeliansky, announced the release of a stamp titled Crimean Bridge Done, featuring the damaged bridge. Putin ordered a government commission to investigate the accident on the Crimean bridge and was receiving updates from authorities, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said. He said there were no forecasts on the timing of the reconstruction of the bridge, which serves rail and vehicles. A Crimea official said the bridge's navigable arches were not damaged. Some Russian lawmakers struck an angrier, more urgent tone. Duma deputy Leonid Slutsky said there was no doubt Kiev was behind the blast and Duma deputy Oleg Morozov called it a declaration of war without rules. Meanwhile, Alexander Kotz, a military correspondent for a pro-government paper, wrote, the stupidest thing to do now is to start reassuring the country. Let's already fight more angrily, for real. Authorities in Crimea said they had enough food and fuel on the peninsula, which the Kremlin annexed in 2014 after a disputed referendum. They urged people not to panic by and sought to reassure residents that there is now a land corridor to Russia. The Aswas of Ukraine's southeast and east that Russian forces had seized and claimed to annex. Sergei Aksionov, Crimea's Russian-backed leader, asked on Telegram that hotels allow tourists to extend their accommodations, which the government would fund. Key Developments Surovikin was designated as the Kremlin's top commander of troops in Ukraine, the Russian Defense Ministry announced Saturday. This is the first time Russia has officially announced a leader of the overall effort to take over Ukraine, an invasion that began in February. He is the latest to take command in what has been a months-long shuffle of Russian military leaders in Ukraine. The Zaporizhia nuclear plant had to rely on emergency generators after Russian shelling disrupted its power supply, Ukrainian state firm Energodom said early Saturday. The International Atomic Energy Agency described security at the site, Europe's largest nuclear power plant, as precarious. The European Union said Russia's seizure of the plant was illegal and legally null and void. 
in a statement from Foreign Policy Chief Josep Borrell. The bloc demanded that Russia fully withdraw its military forces and equipment and hand back control of the NPP to its rightful owner, Ukraine. The bloc, which is considering Ukraine's application to join, has not recognized the Kremlin's annexation of four Ukrainian regions, including Zaporizhia. Battlefield Updates Return to Menu Ukrainian forces took back nearly 300 square miles in the country's east this week, Zelensky said in his nightly address Friday, including in Luhansk. One of four Ukrainian regions that Russia claimed to annex. Ukrainian officials say they are exhuming bodies from two burial sites in the city of Lyman, which Kyiv's troops have just recaptured from Russian forces in the eastern Donetsk region. The Russian-appointed administration in Kherson said it plans to evacuate families from the southern Ukrainian region, which Kyiv's troops are fighting to recapture. Kirill Stramusov, deputy head of the administration, told Russian media people would be sent to Crimea and Russia's Rostov region for the duration of the tough period due to Ukrainian shelling. Global Impact Return to Menu IEE Director General Rafael Mariano Grossi will visit Moscow next week, after meeting with Zelensky in Kiev on Thursday. The UN nuclear watchdog has sought to negotiate a buffer zone at the Zaporizhia facility in southeast Ukraine, which Russian forces control. US officials stressed they saw no evidence that Russia had taken the measures necessary to use its nuclear arsenal and said Friday that Washington had no reason to change its nuclear posture. President Biden startled many when he said Thursday that Russia's nuclear threats amounted to the most serious prospect of Armageddon in 60 years. Liverpool will host Eurovision 2023 on behalf of Ukraine, which won Europe's wildly popular song contest this year, but will not put on the next show because of the war. The United Kingdom finished second in this year's competition. From our correspondence. Return to menu. After Russian retreat in East Ukraine, police find dozens of torture sites. Across at least five different provinces, Russian troops left the remnants of an archipelago of torture in their wake, often in buildings where families had lived or children had played. Louisa Lovelock reports. On Friday, the chief investigator of the northeastern Kharkiv province, Sergei Balvanov, said that his forces had recovered 534 civilian bodies in the eastern province of Kharkiv. Most of them from a mass grave in the town of Izium, she writes.